Hi everyone. Now this is the the fly I'm going to be tying. Basically, oh, I'll show you the smaller one. This is the sorry size 16 uh, small pheasant tail emerger. It's a very basic emerger part. It's basically a small pheasant tail nymph with a CDC wing. It's as simple as that. But it's a very good emerger pattern. You can tie them in different colours. I've got them in olive and same face, same materials. Just tying them. Uh, with the fe this one here's the olive version, sorry, but you can tie them all colours, but the, obviously the pheasant tail is a very popular one, so I'm going to be sitting tying it. Now, the hook I'm using is this, the Ultimate Dry uh, Black Nickel, size 16, as you see, for full and well. Thread I'm going to be using is the Rusty Brown. So I've waxed the thread, I'm just going to start at the eye, I'm just going to put a layer of thread down the shank, it's a simple fly to tie this. Just take it to the back of the hook. Tail fibres, I'm actually using some Croc de Leon. This is just a medium grey. This is a whiten. And don't be shy, put a few fibres in. It does support the fly. You're looking round about the shank length for the tail. Just catch it on the top, come underneath with a turn, and then pull. Just separates the fibres a wee bit. And don't be shy with them, I like a reasonable tail on it. Trim away the excess. Now I've got an extra small, you can use either, I'm using gold wire, but you could use a copper wire in the pheasant tail. Just going to go back a half turn here, just catch it in. Pheasant tail for the body, just a nice natural uh, cock pheasant tail fibre. I'm looking around maybe a good half dozen because I'm going to use this for the body and the thorax so catch it in close to the tips just pull it in and then I want to wind up two thirds of the way that's your body now because of the pheasant tail is the weakest fibre I wind that towards myself uh, basically I, when I bring my rub up it catches it in far far better and it basically protects it so what I'm going to do is catch it in with a turn or two, so we do a turn on the top to catch it in the pheasant tail and a turn on the hook, that locks it in, do the same again. But because I'm using it as a pheasant, as a thorax cover, I'm, I'm going to actually bring it to the top and do a turn, just to hold it as you can see there, so I can bring my rib up. So just bring my rib up, around about four or five turns, catch that in or three turns and at this point I like to fold it back so it's on the top just ready to basically split the wing this splits the CDC wing and as well everything's tied in nice and tight and I'll not pull out obviously now for the wing I'm using I'm using up my CD small these are extra small the small CDC feathers now what I do is reasonably simple I just get a natural curve as you can see just lay it on my finger now I've got four, so I want to basically want two either side of the thorax cover, which is obviously the pheasant tail. Just take your time and line them up. There they are. Now I want to draw these fibres together. I need all the CDC down the bottom here, so all the ends. Just draw it all together with a natural curve. Now this can be as short as long as you like, to the back of the hook anyway, so uh, if you want it as an emerger, you don't want it too long, kind of if a dry fly it would be quite long, so I want it slightly shorter when laying back in this case. Just pinch a loop on the top a couple of times, two or three turns, this, just to check, just to see how things are. I'm checking my length, that's fine. Trim away. Marks on my thread. And then just make sure these are tied in. That's fine. Now you can see I'm close to the eye. Well, head length will be anyway. I'm going to use a natural dub here for the, the thorax. 
just using a squirrel dub just lightly dub it onto your thread slide it up now I'm going to work from this point up I find it far easier to do it this way just work your way up to the wing just check we're right up to it and then we we'll work our way back through towards the eye and then anything going forward just draw it back it's take your time at this point and then we can use a thread turner too just to hold it you wax my thread here you'll always catch the nod fibre and then you want to evenly split get the series you want two either side of the pheasant tail that looks about right I think Just double check you'll know when you've got it right just making sure here they're so fine it's easy to miss one usually when you bring the, the pheasant tail through it will naturally split it we are. and then we catch this on the top a couple of turns now I usually like to fold it back so fold it back and then just focus on building the head up with the thread that will basically fold it back and tuck it in keep the thread tight now I'm going to have it finished but before I do that I'm going to add some varnish on just varnish the thread and work finish that will give you a really good good strong knot tighten up trim your thread away I mean you can break these off so you can or just trim them away to get a neater cut to basically if you take an individual one and just take your time and break one at a time off you'll get a really neat cut as long as you've done tightened your thread you shouldn't have any problems with that there we go and that's the small emerger CDC emerger uh, basically the pheasant tail that's all that is just keep it very leggy like that uh, to me it's more natural like uh, it floats really well and uh, we've got both on rivers and locks but the pheasant tail catches anywhere so there we are that's your small pheasant tail emerger cdc emerger uh, basically all you're doing is floating your nymph and the cdc does that so i hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching